Okay, so we're back. We're back with um, the final decoration and making the tags and adding all the extra little stuff at the very end. So this is what we have not added yet, or you have not added that. So what this is, is our little flap to open, open our little folio. So I will, I will make a, a little thing to, to tell you guys, do not attach this right, this left um, front designer paper right here when we're building this because we're going to be adding magnets and we're going to be adding this little ribbon right here. So do not attach this piece. You can, you can attach it at the side here, but nowhere else. You can do it at the very end. Got some magnets in here. Got this we got to put in here. So this is just ribbon. Plain old ribbon that I got from from Michaels. Um, you can use any kind of ribbon you like. It's nice and thin, so it's not going to add much bulk. So basically all you do is Here's another folio that hasn't been worked on yet. Here's your inside left panel. Once you figure out where you want to put this ribbon, once this page has been built, you're going to align this ribbon somewhere close to Santa's hand because he's going to, it looks like he's going to open the flap. At least that was my thought. So you would put this ribbon that you've glued I folded it and glued it. You would attach it to where you need to put it so it's aligned with Santa's hand. I always put some score tape over it. And then once you get your magnet, once you get your magnets placed, then you can put your designer paper over here. So it's going to have um, hide everything. So I had to use my undo again to get my ribbon stuck in there. This green piece is just one of our green circles that we used. I have a die cut. This is a one inch circle. If you don't have a die cut, if you just have a, 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 a circle punch, that's fine too. And then you just cut it in half. You cut the circle right in half. So you have your two, two pieces, and then you're going to use one of those pieces to make that part. So this is just your indicator where we're going to be having that little, that little um, ribbon right there. So that's that, and then this is from the um, chipboard pieces. Now there were other chipboard pieces, but. The other one that I thought of putting there was the holly. If you like the holly one better, put down the holly. I just liked the red personal preference. And also with the chipboard pieces, remember to always, let's see if I have one, to always sand, sand down the rough edges on those chipboard pieces. There's always little bits that stick out. So make sure you sand it so it's smooth all the way around. I'm sure you guys do that anyway, right? I just don't like the look of naked chipboard. So I usually color my chipboard either with plain old black, sh I don't know why I can't get stain frame, plain old black Sharpie, that's just black Sharpie. Or if you ever want to add color if you want to add color to those chipboard pieces, this one I colored, you can kind of see it's a green, it's a green color. This is a acrylic paintbrush marker. Come in multiple colors. You just shake it up. It's got a thin tip and you can just put it right over that chipboard also like that. So that's kind of cool if you want to use, make your chipboard 
um, edging a different color. I used the green on mine. You probably can't even tell it's green, but it's, gr it's green. And then I just applied my, my inking around the green, so it kind of um, mellowed it out, tapped it down a little bit. And then I put a little bit of Winka Stella. If you guys do not have Winka Stella and you are going to be doing Christmas albums, you have to get Winka Stella. It just adds, you probably can't see anything, it just adds a little sparkle. You can see the little sparkle to the edging here. So I added some Winka Stella. This, you will, you will use it. We, we have it in our shop at Scrap and Create. You will use it. During Christmas, you will use this. So that was my little chipboard piece I put on top of there. So that's it for the front cover. I also used a little bit, and you can't see it, I'm sure, Winka Stella at the bottom of the black um, cardstock here. And if you did not have this cardstock, the, the one I recommended at the beginning with all the sparkles in it, you can just use regular old green cardstock and use the Winka Stella to go around and it will look just like this. So, good to know. So that's it for the front cover. I think we did everything on the back cover already. That was our back cover. I decided, I'm not sure if I'm gonna add anything here or just leave it plain like that with my little girls. I thought maybe I'll do little chipboard pieces coming down here. I don't know, I think it looks fine just plain like this. So we open it up and what did we do in here? Let me get all this stuff out. So now you're going to be making tags. And I made a little booklet. So here's a tag that I made that goes in here. And here's just, um, where is it? Um, this is a little booklet I made from um, the cut-aparts from the 8x8 collection. And I just put some um, paper inside so it looks like a little booklet. It's just this. I just scored it in the middle and folded it. Added my little paper in here to make a little booklet. And here's our tag. Now with these tags, I'll, I'll show you how I do it to make them. When you decorate them, you can decorate them any way you want. I have, and sure you will too, all these little strips that were just laying around after you're done. I just save all my strips. And then when I'm putting, making these tags, I just find, oh, what would this strip work? Maybe I can use this strip somewhere. You put it down, see if you like it. Now these little circle punches with these little kids, I just cut them out of the cut apart card from the, the eight by eight and the 12 by 12. I just cut their little heads off and made these little circle punches and then inked them and put them on top. I just thought they were so cute. So when you're making these tags, and I'm sure you guys already know how to do all this, the way I do it, since you just glued it on three sides, how wide is your pocket? So I just get a strip of paper, put it on that side, put it on that side, and that tells me how wide my pocket is. Depending on how much glue you put, it will be different for everybody's, will be a little bit different. This is about two and a half. So I cut mine down to two and a quarter. Made it a quarter inch um, narrower so it can slip in easily. And then how tall you want it, you 
same thing. You got your your a piece of paper in there. I know this is going to be the top. That's how how deep my pocket is. And then it just depends on how much farther you want that that tag to stick up. And that's just however tall you want it to be. You you want it to stick up some, right? So this is how much I want mine to stick up. And then I have my little booklet tucked in there too. So that is it for page one uh, for this right flap, left flap right here. I also added, there was something that was missing down here. We had the mouse that's covering up our magnet here. I, I cut um, this little horse from one of the designer papers. It was the, I'm not sure if it was the 12 by 12 or the 8 by 8 Santa page, but I cut that little horse there. I thought he looked, he looks cute down there. So that one's done. For this, I did up and you putting in a magnet here. I made a little pole out of the designer paper. It's basically just a strip of designer paper that's folded and then I glued it together, inked the edges, and I'll show you on this how you're going to put it in. So let's just say this was the flap. This was this flap. It's not, but it's a flap. You would put this, this on. You would tape it or glue it, put that on, get your matting paper that's going to be up here, this matting paper, and I'll talk about this matting paper where I get it from. And then on top of that, you will put your magnet. So the magnet will go here, and obviously you'll find where it's going to connect down here. So the magnet would go here. And then I covered the magnet with this cut apart. Obviously not this one, but one just like this um, from the 8x8 to cover up the magnet. So it would be like that. So let me show you what it looks like. So there's our little pole. Here's the matting paper, and then here's a little um, cut apart with the stockings are hung by the chimney with care. This I put a little um, strip down here. This is from the 12 by 12. I think this is the, the front cover page. Cut that out and made a little tuck spot and used this little cut apart from the 8x8, kind of tucked it in there. And here's an 8x8 little stamp. I love these little stamps. And just kind of put that in there. Let me show you what paper I used for this. Where is it? Here it is. I don't want to add more bulk. So this paper, the designer paper, is probably 65 pounds. So I used resume paper, which is 32 pound. It's better, this is a better quality, obviously, than copy paper. And this is a nice, nice color that matched the collection. And we just had this in our office. And you can buy this at Staples, Office Depot, probably anywhere. Sophomore, really good resume paper. This will last you, it's 100 sheets. It'll last you forever. So that's what I use just to decrease the bulk. Everything that is backed like this, my photo mats are using that um, paper. Everything that's backed is using that paper, that resume paper. And then down here in this um, tuck spot. I just cut out um, the stamps from the 12 by 12 collection and 
ink those and just kind of tuck them down in here. You can tuck anything you want down in here. So that's it for that page. This page, same thing. Oh, I was going to show you how I made my tags. You guys probably already know how to make them or make your own, however you like it. I like to use my We Are Memories Keeper with the, the stub and scallop. And for the top part, I use my scallop. Use the scallop and then the bottom I use my rounder. Oops. And that would be a, a, ta a, a template for a tag, depending on the size that you want. Basic, real easy to do, and then you just put on your paper and you're ready to go. And then you just do a little bit of decoration to keep it from looking too boring. Easy wheezy. So get this out of the way. And then, um, so this has that resume paper on the back too. So does this. Put those back in here. So these are all done. This you've already saw. You saw me make this, this little photo insert. So you can just slip in your photo here. The only other thing I did, there's a card with the kids on the staircase. It's this card. The kids are on the staircase and I cut this one out. She's just too precious. So I cut her out, inked her edges with black just to hide my bad fussy cutting and then did a little bit of that antique uh, vintage photo around her and tucked her behind Santa. Isn't she just so cute? Tuck her behind there. I'm probably going to go ahead and um, pin her down so she doesn't get lost or fall out. I don't want her to fall out, but she's just so cute down there. On this page, we also added a little half circle here so people know that this means you pull this so this opens up because remember this is how your album looks so you open it up and you see this that is to t let your people know that have this album that this oops this means you pull it open so you have to expose these two paper pages then you turn this over and now we're on the center section So the only thing I did here was make these, these tags. And you can make them any width or height that you want and decorate them any way you want. Again, all lined with that paper, that 32 pound paper. Oops, I forgot to line that one. I need to do that. Those all go in there. This, I think we you saw me put this down. I don't remember if I showed you this. I finally did use this card um, on this this flap here. Put that down. I thought that looked really cute. I just love this image of those little kids on the stairs. And then we made this little tab. The way you make these easy wheezy with your circle punch, you need to have a core of a hundred pound cardstock. This is going to give it strength. Or you can glue two pieces together of 65 pound cardstock. And then whatever color you want on the outside, you put on the outside. And then on whatever color you want on the other side, you put that color down. So you made a pretty sturdy little tab. And then you just, whatever you want to cut, you get your little, a tiny, um, hole puncher and you can make whatever you want on your your little pull tab put whatever picture you like you can play around with whatever you like 
I ended up doing the holly here just because this was kind of holly-ish. Pull it, open it up. And here you just see the red. I backed it in red just because it matched the red down here. So these are the same color. Didn't do anything up here. Here I made another tag and I used this little cutie for this pull tab. There's the back side. And then this, this piece also matted on the black cardstock with the photo paper. So that's for the center pocket. Those are the tags for there. Same thing on this side. These are basically, it's like the, exactly the same size as this guy. They're exact, built exactly the same way. Just a little bit of different strips that go here. Some more little inserts from the cut aparts that are going to go in there. Then this page. Here's your little tag inserts for this page. I used the holly paper from the 12 by 12 on both of them, so these are exactly the same. The other thing I wanted to, to tell you, if you ever have um, one of these that's tags that is real sticky and hard to slip in, just get some a candle and just kind of rub the edges with the candle so the wax kind of gets on your paper. And then with your, your fingers, just rub it in. The heat of your fingers will help rub it in. And this is going to decrease the friction so it can just slide in much easier. So candles, wax, they work well. The other thing I did was this, this was like this. And I cut Merry Christmas from this card and put it right here. Just, that just looked blank. It needed something down here. And I came up with that Merry, Merry Christmas. I thought that looked kind of cute. And then our tag here, I just used the big candy stripe paper. Um, got a little strip down here for a, a tuck spot. Now this is a chipboard piece also. So this chipboard piece, I actually used a black Sharpie to cover the, the card, um, the card, card, the chipboard, the chipboard. And then I just put my green thing on top, my green punch. And I found a picture that I liked, which was this holly that I just circle punched out from, I'm not sure where it came from. It could be from any place. I circle punched so many different ones. And I put it on there, I thought that was a good match for this paper with this holly. Here's that little horse that I cut out and put on the other page. I use that horse. So that goes there. Just make sure when you're put, adhering it that this is aligned with this rounded edge of um, the pocket. The other last thing is covering your spines. I just continued this um, candy stripe paper from the 12 by 12 and tried to align them up so it looks like it's a continuous flow of the same pattern here. On these spines, I used the holly from the 12 by 12 and tried to line them up so they were we're kind of matching the flow of this paper here. Same thing on this side. 
And then the last spine is this one. And I used this plaid from the 8x8 and put it down here. So I think that's it for the decorations. You can do more. You can do decorate as much or as little as you want. That's the fun part once you're done with everything is putting the final touches, the decorations, and making it your own. I hope you make these and you enjoy making it. These would be great Christmas gifts. You can build one of these once you've done the first one, doing this is going to take you less than an hour. And now, once you're, you've got it, you are ready to go and start a new album. And you can just turn these out, get them ready for Christmas gifts uh, for your family or friends. And I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you for our next tutorial.